Batman is distracted by a riddle from the Riddler while driving. Alfred assures him it's accurate, but Batman dismisses it. He prefers manual control over automatic, explaining he's been trusting too much on technology. Batman encounters a scene of chaos. He suspects a trap and cautiously approaches the scene, finding Riddler replicas and realizing the villain put in more effort than he thought. He identifies the actors as hired stuntmen with criminal backgrounds. Batman easily defeats Riddler's henchmen in a brawl while searching for the real Riddler. He observes the distractions are the signature of the villain's style but remains focused on finding the true Riddler. Despite the chaos, Batman maintains control and confidently claims he's got the Riddler. Batman continues to take down henchmen outside a restaurant and relentlessly pursues the real Riddler. As the Riddler tries to escape, Batman tracks him with intense focus, approaching until the final moment when the Riddler is revealed now pointing a gun, setting up a tense confrontation. Batman crashes through a restaurant window, subduing Edward who seems involved in the theft of a $15 million Fabergé egg. Batman demands to know the buyer, but Edward evades by asking, when is the Riddler not the Riddler? Batman is struck by a trio of light beams, overwhelmed by an intense electric shock, collapsing unconscious. The police arrive and find him holding the Fabergé egg. Batman wakes up and asks them not to remove his mask. The officers mention arresting multiple Riddlers, but Batman clarifies he's looking for the real Riddler. Riddler. A group of people dressed as the Riddler reveal they were hired for a prank. Batman and Commissioner Gordon realize the real Riddler is still missing and investigate someone named Jonah Hex. Batman arrives in a small town and asks for Ginny Hex. A local woman confirms her presence and calls her over. Batman speaks to Ginny Hex, who donated a jeweled egg to a museum. She admits to donating it because it was valuable, but is skeptical of its worth. Batman questions her about suspicious visitors and the egg's origin. She discovered it after her mother's death and mentions a man named Jonah who is linked to the egg and has a dark reputation. Ginny insists she didn't steal the egg and is unsure why Batman is investigating it. After a brief conversation, he instructs her to report anything unusual. Ginny feels frustrated, sensing she missed something important. Meanwhile, in a nightclub in Amsterdam, the Riddler, uneasy and nervous, insists he needs to leave despite reassurances from Finn that he's safe. When Batman arrives, the Riddler panics as the group reveals they hired Deathstroke for protection. Batman and Deathstroke engage in a fierce sword fight, with Deathstroke landing a punch and Batman counterattacking with powerful kicks. Batman demands to know who Deathstroke is working for, but Deathstroke evades the question. As the battle intensifies, Batman disarms Deathstroke with a batarang, knocking out the Riddler in the process. Despite his efforts, Batman realizes the Riddler is trying to escape, and the injured Riddler sarcastically mentions a gift, suggesting a bigger plan at work. Just as Deathstroke lands another punch, Green Arrow intervenes, using a trick arrow to knock Deathstroke unconscious. Green Arrow, observing the Riddler's state, makes a sarcastic comment that hints at further mysteries surrounding the Riddler and his intentions. 